Well, you guys, so hopefully you guys are having a great day, afternoon slash night time, whenever you're watching this. So I'm doing a video on um, Book of Shadows for Beginners. So yeah, hopefully you guys like the new angle, hopefully it's a little better lighting. I am still using natural lighting, so hopefully it doesn't go in and out too badly. Okay, so a Book of Shadows, what is it? Basically, that is... Oh, it's a book of your craft, basically. It, it, you can put anything in it, honestly. You can put your spells, your rituals, your potions, recipes, um, Sabbath information, Aspat information, um, any sort of magical text, anything like that, it's yours. It, it's your book of shadows, do whatever you want. You want to put some artwork in it, put some artwork in it. You want to put some poetry in it, put poetry in it, along with your other stuff. It's just a big mix of everything and anything you want in your book of shadows, you can put in. Um, preferences by saying though, but because of that, what your book of shadows is going to look like is going to be completely different than somebody else's. So, yeah. So my first tip for beginning witches that are just getting into their book of shadows, don't spend a lot of money. Okay? Do not spend a huge amount of money on a book of shadows at all. Now I'm going to show you my first book of shadows. This is what mine looks like. My first book of shadows. Um, this I actually bought at Costco for 20 bucks. I bought a notebook for $20. I, I don't know, I thought because it was like a hard cover. Hold up here. Because it's a hard cover. Um, it would make my craft real, I guess. I wasn't going to be like a poser or anything. So, yeah, this is what mine looks like. I just cut up some paper and some fake flowers. This little pentacle, it's a dragon. I don't know if you can see that or not. But that's just from Hot Topic, so... Yeah. It's really, really bad. But it was a good starting point for me. Now, you don't have to go out and spend $20, $100, whatever, because you can just use notebooks. You can just use notebooks. You can use bigger notebooks, like this one. I have stuff written on this, so that's why I'm not showing you the red cover. So, this is just a 70-sheet notebook. You can use this. Simple. Or if you want something a little bit smaller... So it, you can take it with you. You can just use a little notebook like this. There was more paper in this before, but you can use a little notebook like this. You can use one even like this if you want. This is my just my personal journal. So, yeah. What my Book of Shadows looks like right now is this right here. There's this little decoration. I bought it specifically for this because it like was reminding me of like the Tree of Life. So, yeah. This was $8, by the way, at um, Barnes & Nobles, I think. So, yeah. Your safest bet is to just get a notebook. It's easy for mistakes. You don't, personally, I don't really, orga I didn't organize my first book of shadows at all. Just because it's my first book, anything I learn just goes in right to the next page. I'll organize my next one. you should put in it specifically. Um, I think personally a good thing to put in is the Wiccan Weed. I will be doing a video like breaking down the Wiccan Weed and explaining it a little bit better. Um, you can put like your intentions, your beliefs, a book blessing. What I do personally is with my book and with my first one I have my book blessing here and then I have my beliefs on this page. And then, um, the first actual page is a shortened version of the Wiccan Weed. You can white it all out if you want. Um, just with this one, I didn't want to. And then, 13 Goals of a Witch, which I think are just really good life goals in general. You can put, um, the Wheel of the Year, which I do have in mind. You can put... You can put um, elemental information in it if you want to work with elements. 
You can put spells, rituals that you create or you find online that are really good for you. Um, anything can really go into this book. Um, thoughts, experiences, you can put your dream journal in it if you want to write about all of your dreams. Um, you can do your correspondence, like your herbs and your incense and your crystals. Okay, now with this, you do not, you keep it basic, okay? Keep your correspondent pages basic when you first start out. You do not need eight pages of herbs and crystals and incense. Now, to sh now to show you what I mean by that, in my first book, I have, I kid you not, yeah, 12 pages of herbs that I never use. So keep it basic. Keep herbs that are in your first book simple that you have easy access to. Because I have never used any of those herbs that are in that book besides like two or three. So keep it basic because you don't want like eight pages of herbs or incense or whatever that you never use. And those pages could go to something that is more to you. So, yeah. Okay, you can write about anything that inspires you. You can do, like, your dream altar. You can do your recipes for Sabbath, medit meditation, visualization diary. You can do anything in there. Really. Um, I have a little diagram here. And I know this is really crazy. I'm not going to break this down too much. But this is my dream altar. It's a mess right now. This, this makes sense to me. It's just like a little thing. This is like my dream altar as of right now. I also have like my dream fairy altar as well. Again, this makes no sense to anybody except me just because I know what all of these things are. But yeah. That and your second book is going to be a little bit more, like, defined than your first one. Because your first one, you're writing everything that you learn in it. And in the second one, you're still writing everything you learn in it. But it's a little bit more organized because you know what... You have a better understanding of what you may enjoy in Wicca. And if not, that's okay. I still don't really know. So, yeah. You can write your experiences with spells, rituals, anything in your book. Keep it nice, simple, in my opinion, and you should be fine. So, yeah. That's it. Bye! Hope you enjoyed.